that's his introduction to girlhood. Like that's his introduction to the world as the new Dylan Mulvaney, you know? And it's so annoying to see that because it's like, are you playing, like, is this really a change or are you just being this bimbo? Are you playing a character? But let's pull up this first one and you guys can see the stuff that I save. Okay. We, this is what happens when you're a content creator. Okay. So let's jump into this first one. Do you see what I mean, right? He's saying, I cried three times. I wrote a scathing email. I ordered dresses that I couldn't afford. And someone asked me how my day was. And I said, I was fine. How did I do, ladies? That's not how women act. Uh, yes, some women act like that. But it's the overdoing. It's insane to me that women are just saying this is okay. You know, it's so stereotypical. You know what it looks like? It looks like he took the movie Clueless, Mean Girls, um, and all of these like 90s rom-com movies. And he created this personality called Dylan Mulvaney. That's what he's, that's what he's showing here to us. We can't hear the, yeah, hold on. Can you hear it now? Day one of being a girl, and I have already cried three times. I wrote a scathing email that I did not send. I ordered dresses online that I couldn't afford. And then uh, when someone asked me how I was, I said, I'm fine, when I wasn't fine. How'd I do, ladies? Good? See how, like, I don't know. That to me sounds so condescending. Like, oh my God, how did I do, ladies? Like, I'm playing this character. I'm playing this role. How do you think I did? Yeah, someone said white chicks. Absolutely. This is exactly white chicks, right? Mean girls, clueless, and white chicks. And thank you so much, uh, Jason, for the $10 donation to the platform. I really appreciate it. Um, that means a lot to me. If you guys want to send in super chats, that means the world. Um, this is like, it's absolutely insane to me that he, like, that's his first, that's his introduction to girlhood. Like that's his introduction to the world as the new Dylan Mulvaney, you know? And it's so annoying to see that because it's like, are you playing, like, is this really a change or are you just being this bimbo? Are you playing a character? Because like I mentioned before, he is an actor. He, you know, he's been in theater. This doesn't seem genuine to me, if that makes complete sense. Well, let's see what everyone's saying. Um, Liquidation King LA, Rebecca Barrett, when this started with calling gay men one of the girls by women, men were trying to say something and we were told to shut up. Now he is doing the drag queen thing on the web on the web. Yeah, like it seems, you know, and that's the thing is like, I don't care. Drag queens and trans people have always been in female spaces in the sense of like they they've been doing makeup and they've been doing hair and all that stuff. That's not the main issue. The main issue is that he speaks for women and he gets invited to these, you know, to these um, conferences that are for women and speaks on panels. And that's what I have a problem with. If you want to dress up and wear makeup and wear a dress, fine. I don't care. Like do whatever you want to do, but don't speak for me. Don't take, don't take things that are female, are inherently female. Um, don't appropriate motherhood. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out if he's just trolling everyone. It seems like he is like low key. It feels like he is honestly. And, and the thing is like so many women are allowing this to happen. So many. Thank you, MGTOW by Logic. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Share the, share the stream. Let me know if you guys can still hear me and see me. I am having problems with my internet. This is what happens when you're on the road. Hi, Endless, the spokesman, spokesperson. I'm in the live chat. Thank you for being here. Okay, 
let's jump in to the second video, which kind of solidifies the fact that I think he is trying to play a bimbo. Day three of being a girl and I've already become a bimbo with the <laughs> queen herself. We are drinking martinis at 255 on a Monday on Sunset Boulevard. And then we're going makeup shopping. We love it. Cheers. Chrissy? Absolutely not. Yeah. No. The bimbos yeah. <gasps> are bimboing. It's 100%. We need it. We literally need that. This man is <laughs> tucking hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> we Wait, this is cute. Oh, yeah. I can't. That's not. right. Oh my god, this color on you! Oh, you Thank you, Oz. Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. What's the actual season? One short day. <laughs> we shop. It's been an amazing day as a bimbo. I think it's a good fit for me. What do you think, ladies? Love ya! Day three of being a Okay, there you go. He is playing a bimbo. That's exactly the character that he's playing. That was day three. So mind you, day one, he's saying, I wrote a scathing email. I cried three times. I bought a dress that I didn't, that I couldn't fit into. And when someone asked me if I was okay, or if I, if someone asked me if I had a good day, I said I was fine. Okay, day three of being a girl. Mind you, he's using the word girl and not woman. And we're going to get into another video where he speaks about this, right? Day three of being a girl and he's saying that he is a bimbo, right? That he's playing this bimbo. Honestly, he just adopts this character, the bimbo character, the entire time. So that's the person that he's playing. And it's absolutely insane to me. You know, people are allowing this to, to, to happen. And again, live your life, whatever, saying like, how am I doing ladies? Like, oh my gosh, I'm just a woman now. I'm a girl now. Like, look at me, yada, yada, yada. And this man partnered with Tampax. Tampax has millions, millions of women that they could pick from, right? To be their spokesperson. They choose a trans woman who cannot get her period, get his period, because he doesn't have a uterus that sheds every month as the spokesperson for tan packs. You can't make this stuff up. Where where is uh what's his name? Kevin Samuels. Where's Kevin Samuels? You can't make this shit up. Honestly, you really can't. This is very cringe. <laughs> that dress looks terrible on Dylan. And honestly, like something that, you know, I don't, something that I noticed, right? This is not dragging on his body because honestly, he, that's his body, right? But it looks like he got slimmer, like a lot slimmer. So I don't know if he could potentially have an eating disorder because if you look at previous pictures of him, he was not this slender. Maybe it's the estrogen that he's taking. Who knows? I, I really don't, I really don't know. Um, but it, it could be, <laughs> it could be imagine his parents. I think he did a TikTok video where he was talking to his mom and his dad about it. And they said that he should, you know, get married and have kids like as a man. So that was one of like one of his early, early videos before he came out as Dylan, the woman, Dylan, the girl, <laughs> Dylan is only 25. I did not know that. That makes a lot of sense <laughs> that he's so young. Um, I love this. Mrs. Doubtfire would make a better spokesperson <laughs> for Tampax. <laughs> That's 100%. Um, this whole trans women menstruation thing is a fetish. Literally, literal a thing even medical professionals realize this is an actual fetish. Correct. And here's the thing. Apparently, if you are on estrogen and on it for a while, apparently it can mimic the sensation of period cramping and things like that. But obviously, he doesn't have a uterus. He will never have a uterus unless freaking medicine creates, you know, uteruses for trans people, which who knows? Maybe he'll be the um, spokesperson for that as well. <laughs> I think it's not the estrogen. I think it's the estrogen not working out. I don't know. Maybe. Actually, estrogen makes you gain weight. So I don't know. 
that maybe, I don't know, but if you look at previous photos of him, pre previous videos of him, he's very, he slendered out a lot. So I don't know what it could be. Um, but yes, um, I don't agree with how he debases women to the lowest stereotypes. Exactly, Victoria. This is exactly the issue, right? 